Hi guys, so it's been five hours since we last shot uh, the beginning of this video. Um, we wanted to show you some progress that we've made. Um, we've spent most of the day out here in the garden. We had a visit from uh, my stepdad who helped us rototill uh, garden number two, which we're calling the pumpkin patch uh, on the other side of our yard. But we wanted to show you our main garden that we've been working on. Uh, as we're making some pretty good progress and Tiffany's about to break ground uh, for the first time. So this is what I've been I've been Making some little beds. These are just cheap one by two boards Nothing fancy Literally just Markings is all there are right now. The one in the back there is just plastic laid out to pretend um, So we did go to our local farm store here in town and we got these cattle panels and some t-posts and this archway is going to be the entrance to our garden so as we walk in here you can see we have this little pallet deck that we decided we were going to put in here because we're going to want to have somewhere we can sit and enjoy just looking at the garden and taking it all in so as you can see as well there is a little fire pit here which was our old fire pit which we're just going to turn into an herb bed really so um but as we move this way this is half of another cattle panel that we cut in half and this is going to be a tomato trellis and tiff is about to make some magic happen hi guys so i am about to plant some cherokee purple heirloom tomatoes on my trellis i think i heard al telling you about how my father-in-law came and cut this 16 foot panel into an eight foot panel now we have it lengthwise so we're gonna trellis a ton of tomatoes I think we've decided we're going to put six tomato plants on this trellis, um, this being our first one. So this year we are going for an all organic um, garden, so I've got some fish emulsion. If you have ever heard of Fruition Seeds, they are in upstate New York where Al and I live. Um, they actually recommend using a fish emulsion. I needed to get mine today, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get mine from fruition. But I've got it, and I've mixed up some here. So in this bucket, I've got... It's really dirty now. <laughs> um, it looks like sludge, but really that's all it is, is water and the fish emulsion. Water and the fish emulsion. The fish emulsion is just brown. Brown. But you can replace um, like any miracle Grow fertilizer that you have been using um, for the fish emulsion like we did. But in here, all it is is one gallon of water with three teaspoons of the fish emulsion or a tablespoon. My prep for the plant beforehand, that's why it's yuck, is to take off some of these side... Um, side leaves side leaves i guess mm. so we're gonna start here at the bottom just tear them off these not really any use to us the most important thing for us right now is just planting this plant deep into the soil and making sure it gets a strong root <clears throat> so this plant we will plant up to here and this entire root will or this entire stem will turn into a root I don't know if I can get it close, but if you can see these funny hairs, that's the plant wanting to really become a root, so it just will naturally do it. So that's why we're gonna make sure we get this deep enough, and then we'll mix, just dip it into our fish emulsion. Make sure it's deep enough. Just a little bit deeper because I want to make sure to get it up. I think I've hit a rock, so that's as far as I can go. <laughs> so you just, I don't want to get my fingers in, but dip it, pull it out, shake it. Let's cover it. 
And that fish emulsion is just, you know, feeding this plant like you need. If you're gonna go for your afternoon hike, you just need your breakfast before so you feel strong to get through. And this plant needs its food too to grow us an abundance of Cherokee purple tomatoes. Um, so we've got that pretty far. We'll tag it so we know. So the plan will be, we'll get it up to here. We might have to stake it before it gets that, that high. But once it does, we will use some form of nylon strip, like a stocking or something like that, something soft, so we can actually tie it to the tomato. These tomatoes are what you call an indeterminate plant. All of my tomatoes are. There's two types of tomatoes and they are indeterminate and determinate. The difference is this plant being indeterminate with the trellising, this plant will literally reach the top of this trellis by the end of the growing season. With a determinate plant, it is not only determined in size, which could be this tall, but it also has a determined number of fruit that it's going to produce. So we have all indeterminate plants. We want them to reach the skies, produce a lot. We're planning on freezing, canning, salsas, Eating, tomato salsas. Enjoying. Eating tons of them. <laughs> um, I love cherry tom tomatoes. We got um, some sweet 100s or sweet 1000s. I think they're sweet 100s. And um, some cool ones that I'm really excited about was a chocolate sprinkles um, cherry tomato, which I had never heard of. We did pick up some of these at our local Home Depot. I tried two times to grow my own tomatoes this year, but I failed. This is this is the first year I've done a big garden, all from trying to grow my own seedlings and with no luck we gave in we gave in to the tomatoes and also the peppers so that's where we're at i can't remember what other ones that we get that we were excited about a golden jubilee heirloom tomato which is an orange yellow tomato which if you know anything about these tomato varieties the orange ones and the purple ones they are a lower acid so if you are a person that gets acid reflux these tomatoes are what you want in your gardens there was one other one that i thought was really interesting this one mr stripey heirloom tomato it's kind of tie-dye it's really pretty so those are the kinds of the tomatoes that I got. There's some other ones there, but I'll show them to you later. But for now, Al and I are gonna get to work. We have all these beds to finish, nailing together. I wanna dig up at least the other tomato beds so I can get them in tonight. So we have a lot to get to. So for tonight, I hope you have a good night. Um, and I will see you later.